The first memorial monument of comfort women was built in Palisades Park, New Jersey in October 2010 to commemorate the Korean women who were forced into sexual slavery for Japanese troops during World War II. In December the following year, the Statue of Peace, where a girl representing the victims is sitting on a chair, was installed in front of the Japanese embassy in Seoul, commemorating the 1000th Wednesday demonstration, which is a weekly rally of surviving comfort women and their supporters. Soon after, nine more memorial monuments and five more peace statues were put in place in the U.S. alone, including in Glendale in Los Angeles, Square Park in San Francisco, and Eisenhower Park in New York. Globally so far, a total of 124 such monuments and statues have been erected in seven countries, including Germany, Australia, Canada, China, and Japan. However, Japan is trying desperately to thwart the voluntary attempts of the international community to erect these monuments and statues. Japan has insulted comfort women statues and went further to file a lawsuit for their removal. Even in Atlanta, Georgia, the officially announced plan to build a peace statue was scrapped because of the Japanese government's threat to withdraw Japanese corporations operating in the city. In the case of San Francisco, its 60-year-long sisterhood relation with the Japanese city of Osaka was unilaterally severed by the Osaka city government when the statue was placed in the Californian city. Also in Germany, the installation of the peace statue on the premises of the Bonn Women's Museum has been stalled over the past two years due to Japan's objection. And in the Philippines, a statue made by a civic group just disappeared overnight in the face of Japan's continued pressure. When more and more global citizens are trying to express their solidarity with these military sex slaves of Japan and rise above national boundaries to jointly work for the protection of women's rights, Japan alone is going against the current of the times, refusing to acknowledge and trying to hide the historical facts. Nevertheless, the truth cannot be covered up despite any efforts of interference and concealment. Before it's too late, Japan must admit to its atrocities and offer long-awaited, heartfelt apologies and compensation to the comfort women victims.